we're back. Part two, which I've never done a part two, but here we are. Um, okay, tiny little part two haul. Not, there's actually enough to do a good quality haul. Um, this haul is brought to you by some random online purchases. Also Sephora and a couple of uh, like anthropology, like one item from anthropology and one item from Bath and Body Works. So there's a little bit of something for every <laughs> basic B. Um, okay, so I wandered into Sephora because um, Holly and I, if you haven't met Holly, you should watch my Shrek Lush Lush times Shrek haul because we unload all, maybe not all, but a lot of the Shrek items. So you should definitely watch that. Um, but we went to Sephora and I hadn't been to Sephora in like maybe a hundred years because there was so much stuff that I am, um, that like from Instagram ads that I just assume you can only buy online, but all the brands are at Sephora. So I'm like, oh, I had no idea. Anyway, Darcy always gets me way stuff for Christmas and I was like, Darcy, you don't have to order it online anymore now. You can just go to Sephora. Anyway, look at that label. That's so pretty. I love that kind of, what's this called? Like, whatever this, holograph, holo, holo? <laughs> that's what I love. Um, so this is scalp and body scrub and it, oh, and the, um, maybe the scent is called St. Bart's or maybe that's where it's made. I don't know. No, it's not made in St. Bart's. It's from like uh, Los Angeles. Um, so I think that's the scent. Need a holiday? Let us whisk you away with our St. Bart's scent that has notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, tuberose, and musk. This exotic blend of sugar, hibiscus, and coconut oil exfoliates and nourishes your scalp and body so you can enjoy paradise all year long. Vacay is only a shower away, but way sound like this. Um, that's cute compared to the mouthful and like, we are so quirky um, of this deodorant in my previous part one. Just listen to everything that's on here because it's a lot. I feel like I read a Dr. Seuss book after doing that. Anyway, um, I have tried this previously. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like literally the St. Bart's, St. Bart's, <laughs> a, um, is that a Virgin Island? Uh, is it British? Or is it US? I feel like it's British. Um, oh, it smells so good. Um, and I've had it before and it's just so nice. And I love a scalp scrub because I always feel like I have buildup on my scalp even though my hairdresser is like, uh, no you don't. But like, have you ever scratched your scalp and you're just like, what is this? Is this like shampoo buildup? It's like, not dandruff, but it's just like, you know, where your scalp gets like, maybe this is me. Um, but yeah, or maybe that's all scalps. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this should be very good and helpful and I can't wait to use it, but, and you can use it on your body too. So there's that. Um, the other thing that I bought was from The Ordinary the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5, a hydration support formula with hyaluronic acid, provitamin B5, and ceramides. Um, the Ordinary really, I love the price point. It's very, very reasonable and affordable. But like all the different, like, um, complexities of like what's in them and like numbers and percentages and stuff it really like intimidates me so I'm like okay I'll just yeah I need this thing uh, so I basically buy the things that I can read and now that they now in Sephora they've been like putting like this complicated 
chemistry term means this. This is what it does for you. So like underneath, they like added this band that says hydrators and oils. You dumb dumb. This is what this does. So um, I love that. But anyway, it comes in a bottle. In case you guys haven't seen a glass bottle before. And like a little, what are these called? Dropper. It feels very, the ordinary feels very like chemistry. Like there's a new brand called Typology or something. Same thing. It's like, we are chemists for your face. It's like, all right, calm down. I know you guys are doing your thing. Um, okay. This one I also have done. I've, I've used this before in the past. Very good. Um, another hydrator and oil because I love a hydrator and oil. 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil for all skin types. This one smells very like botanical, I would say. Like if you're looking for something that smells like, um, like uh, artificial rose, this does not really smell like that. This is really the good stuff. This one comes in a brown bottle. Can you see it? Anyway, dropper. And we've got the actual oil color. And it's very hydrating and makes your skin feel very oily. But it's good. It's good for you. And then in Sephora, after purchasing that, I got a Laneige uh, Cream Skin Serapeptide Toner and Moisturizer. I think I've used this before and I love it. And I just haven't ever committed to buying it, but I bought like a, a Laneige like gift box thing for myself. I love doing that, just buying yourself gift boxes because you get to try a bunch of cool stuff um, for like an okay price. So they gave me that sample. They also gave me this huge um, Malin and Goats. How do you? I feel like I've <laughs> struggled with those names on here before and I'm... And I'm not even gonna try a different way of pronouncing them. Um, Detox face mask. So I'm excited to use this too, cause this is cool and it's got like a little squeezy tube, which I love. I can't smell anything, but I'm sure it will prove to be good. Um, what else? Oh yes, okay. So I also got a Bath and Body Works, the brightest bloom which is like, I feel like probably just a limited edition fine fragrance mist. Sometimes I just like wanna be cheesy and wanna smell like a grandma and mm, it smells so good. It's just like very fake florally smell. I'm probably like spraying the same thing as like Febreze all over myself, but it smells good. It smells very floral. Um, it's a fine fragrance mist, and it has notes of Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Sambal, Sambac, I can't, I can't read this, all these are so tiny, it's Sam, Sambac, <laughs> I've never heard of that before, correct me, Garden Carnations, like, oh. are there a different kind of carnations, um, and Fresh Cedarwood. Build your own bouquet of beauty with a blooming blend of modern florals and crisp, warm woods for a fragrance. Sorry, this is on a white on a gold background. It's so hard to read. Um, for a fragrance that feels perfectly picked for you. Dermatologist tested. Okay, so maybe it's better than Febreze. Um, yeah, it smells really delicious to me. Not delicious, but smells like my grandma, like I said, it's great. I love it. Um, I don't think any of these blooms are actually in what I named, but it's nice. Um, and then, okay. Then I have a couple of, um, online fail-ish things. Okay. So I saw online and this brand was like, we have a ring where you can like put two birthstones in it so it's like your kids birthdays or any or your birth 
month and your partner's birth month. So, so I was like, oh, I'll just do it for my two sons. Why don't I do that? That's so cute of me. So I got it and it was kind of cheapy. And one of the stones, stones fell out. So it was left with one green and then the other one's supposed to be purple. I've got a February and an August. And so I was like, oh. so I contacted them, <laughs> which is just so much work. And they're like, we're gonna make this right. So they sent me another ring. The first one took a really long time to get here. The second one was faster, but it's like so different. <laughs> and I was like, oh cool, this one's like bigger, better. The coating around the ring has already kind of come off, but it's cute. Like, I mean, the colors are not colors I would normally choose, but for my kids, little Bridgestones, I thought it was cute. Um, anyway, thank you to whatever this brand is for making it right. That was really kind. Um, and then another online pur purchase is Scoro Lash Eyelash Volumizing Grow Serum. I really don't ever want to dabble in getting eyelash extensions because they're so expensive and they look fake, they look good, but it's like one of those things where you're like, that is fake. Um, same with like hair extensions, like they look good, but you know that's not their hair. And I just like, <laughs> my hair is so thin and so whatever, but I'm just like, I don't need one more thing to like keep track of and one more appointment to make where it's like, oh, can you like put my extensions up higher? And like, I just like, I don't know. And I've like read horror stories of them and like, horror stories of like eyelashes falling out and I'm like I can't afford to have no eyelashes <laughs> so I was like why don't I try this eyelash growth serum first of all I don't know how many paid people that they have on their website being like this stuff works it's so amazing it's so good and maybe it does work for everybody except me I mean maybe there's been a little bit of growth and I haven't been very consistent with doing this like twice a day or however many times a day you're supposed to be doing it. But there's like literally like nothing on here. Like that's a really tiny wand and there's like not a lot of serum on there. So I don't know. Um, but I have used it a little and I don't know if I've seen any results, but maybe I have. This is just something that I want to work very badly because that would be a cool way around having to get eyelash extensions. But I also don't really need to get eyelash extensions. It's just a vain thing that I think would be nice. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows any good eyelash growth serums, let me know because I need one. And lastly, this is one that <laughs> Well, this is important to show because it doesn't look great right now. Oh my gosh, ouch. It's a candle and it's burning currently. I ordered this from Anthropology. Cool jar, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, what was underneath that? Um, this is, oh, it has a lid upstairs. Oh my gosh, yes. Anyway, but you can see the black, like how it doesn't burn like super clean because I think the wicks moved a little bit. See that? Um, but this is fern moss candle from Anthropology. Usually I get like strictly floral or capri or volcano candles or whatever. But I was like, you know what? This one's on sale. I'm such a sale girly now. I don't know why. Uh, probably because the economy is like the worst it's ever been in the entire world. So, um, but fern moss is and has been great. It's not like super, super duper strong like um, Bath and Body Works candles, um, but it is strong enough to smell up my whole downstairs, which is like not very big, but it, I can smell it, which is great. Um, so yeah, I love an anthropology candle, definitely. Let me know if there's anything that you think I should try or do or buy or 
uh, if, that you want to see, or if you have any good recommendations for me to make purchases of, or yeah, try and buy and see. Um, yeah, thanks for watching part one and part two. If you haven't watched part one, there's some cool stuff there. Um, okay, that's all. Bye!